<laughs> this is Sal Henning. Thank you very much for watching. This is part one. Be sure to watch both parts of Cooking Steak with Sal Henning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Sal Henning with the Cooking for Sal program. Well, I thought today we would fix a steak. If you notice there, it says $7.46. I bought it at the local market for $8.99 a pound, 0.83 pounds. So, it's a Friday night when I'm fixing this. Just think if you went to a steakhouse. Oh boy. Just think of how much money it would cost you to have a steak at one of those good steak markets. Well, I'm going to show you today how you can save some money. We're going to have a real nice dinner today. Maybe you've done something really well and you need to be treated, rewarded a little bit. Maybe you went to work every day this week or four out of five. Maybe your children got a solid B on a test or something. Now that school's back in session. Maybe you need to reward your children for good grades, good behaviors. So we're just going to take here. Got out a plate. I already kind of wiped it down a little bit. I already got the pan out and cleaned that up. <laughs> so inside this plastic bag is a steak. Just bought it today. Oh, look at this. That's a shot glass there. <laughs> Little shot glass with a panda on it. <laughs> We're going to save the drinking for another time. Today it's about cooking. Some people probably drink a little while they're cooking. All right, look at that beautiful steak, huh? <laughs> okay. So, one thing I've learned lately is to cut the steak in half. Okay, and, and then in half again. I'll explain to you. All right, so I'm going to pause it here, but you see what I'm doing? Right about half. It's not a precise measurement. I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut it in half to uh, try to get it a little thinner. One moment here, I'm going to pause it. <laughs> All right, there you go. We've got it now cut into two there, see? And this is that good Angus uh, Petite Sirloin Beef Steak. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half very carefully. This is dangerous now. I think I've already told you if you're under 18, previous episodes now, uh, you should listen to them all. This is the third one. But if you're under 18, you shouldn't be cooking. And if you're over 18 and can get someone else to do it for you, or, you know, maybe you are doing a little bit better than some people in America or around the world, and you can go to the good steakhouse. But, you know, things are looking up in this country, but it still takes a little while to fix some of the problems. So we're just going to eat a good steak dinner and celebrate, but we're going to do it at home on a budget. So we're going to cut this in half again this direction now. Going to pause again, but you be damn careful. Okay, so you see here that we've been just kind of cutting right in the middle of it here. Getting it in there again with, I'm not a professional videographer, I'm just more of a cook and just a good natured young man, but uh, we just are cutting this in half, see that? And you just keep cutting it, sawing it. Now, I don't have a real good knife, uh, but, you know, uh, maybe in future episodes we can uh, look into some better knives for this sort of thing. But you, again, just be very careful while you're cutting. We're going to cut it straight through until it is cut into uh, two pieces, and then we'll do the same to the second one. So you'll end up with four smaller pieces. How about that one? <laughs> All right, yeah, so now we're getting a little closer. Oh boy, in the background there, I've been listening to the Cleveland Indians and the Kansas City Royals baseball game. The Indians have won 22 games in a row right now. Oh boy, they're playing some very good baseball. Now we're going to cut this in half again, uh, just right here to finish that up. And uh, whoa, we got a lot to talk about today while we're cooking. Alright, not taking too much of a break when I pause it here. I just set it down so that I can uh, free up my hands and do some cutting. By the way, here's my bottle opener. In the last episode, I'd misplaced that and made it difficult to drink a bottle of Coca-Cola, but today we can have one. And the reason the margarine is out, <laughs> well, we're going to also make some rice. And we're going to get out our Crisco. Uh, this right here is some canola oil up here in our cupboard. What else is up here anyway? Well, up here is some of that good soy sauce, Kiko Man. 
And up here is some of that good minute rice that we like so much. I'll always prefer minute rice to any other. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to Nevada, see some family and friends. I'm going to bring my beef jerky and my chocolate Franz pie with me when I go. Looking forward to that. We're going to just go right over here now. Again, the burner's not on. Don't put paper on the burner. Uh, sometimes I just am setting things down because, again, I've only got two hands. I'm an American human being, and that's just all the further we've gotten. Now, I don't put too much of this uh, in there, and I explain why. Because it splatters so much. And I told you before, while I was making that good bacon, that we always want to wear clothing. Shirts and pants and shoes and whatever else you can get your hands on while you're cooked. Okay? Alrighty. So we're going to put that on there. I'm going to put this up here again. Everything has a place, even in the kitchen. Whoa, it just made a popping sound. That's just plastic. That's okay. And then I'm just going to take this meat and just put it right in there. Right in the... This is a frying pan here, isn't it? Now, some people like to broil their steaks. I used to do that too, but lately I've just been fixing it right here on the frying pan. Now we're going to do the same thing to this piece. Cut it in half, and then it'll go in the pan. <laughs> Alright, we got this in four nice pieces here. Look at that. Woo. And I'll tell you this. Some people might say, well, why don't you just buy some thinner steaks? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but... <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You know, there's more than one way to do things. There's uh, the way that I'm doing it, and you could try to do it that way. Or you could learn a lesson. <laughs> so there you are. We've got them in the pan. Uh, we always turn our uh, light on. That was the fan there, and then the light. So the fan on and the light. And then down here is the burner. The dial here, too. The burner's up above there. See, it's under there. <laughs> yes. That will sizzle. Oh, I don't know. Right around seven. <laughs> don't want to burn it. Nice slow cook. I'll just get it in there good. We're going to flip it a few times. Oh, yes. Now, one of the other things we're going to do is make some rice. Now, the minute rice takes about five minutes. Now, it's not false advertising. It's just uh, the way it works. So, we got our measuring cups. You see on the measuring cup, it'll tell you how big it is. That's about a cup. Okay. And there's about a half a cup. See what's happening? And it'll go down to, uh, there'll be a third and a fourth. Okay. So, I'm going to make about a cup of rice. Now... It takes about an equal amount of water <laughs> as it does the rice. But we don't dare use the same cup. I'll explain why. So I use a half cup. Yes. I might finish just a little shy in the next half. It's better to have a little bit less water than you have rice. Okay? But the reason why you don't use the same is the water in there will make the rice stick. So you want to have a separate cup for the water from the rice. All right, now the golden soft margarine. That's what I've always used. Don't let it fool you. It says light on it, but uh, it's only because I couldn't find the heavy. <laughs> okay, so we put that in there. Whoa, that's sizzling up. In there good and then we're going to turn that burner on and we're going to bring that to a boil so and just stir it up a little bit and get that margarine to melt in there boy that makes me a little hungry for that good popcorn that you make at home and then you put your own butter on it all right so we'll go ahead and put our lid back on this margarine that'll go back in the refrigerator I'm going to turn this down a little bit, actually. That's getting a little too uh, ferocious for my taste. <laughs> now we may burn our steak. That's okay. We're just cooking for ourselves. You know, there's no telling. You go to one of those steak houses, and what do you do? You wait. You get your name on the list. You have to wait and wait and wait. Sometimes even wait in the bar while you're waiting for your table. Mm-hmm. All right. 
There it goes in there. And let's go ahead and get out a bottle of that good Coca-Cola. <laughs> Cooking with Grandma as always. Yeah, you know, you wait all day there, you wait all evening. Your date's getting a little restless. Maybe he's already had two or three drinks before she even went on the date with you. And now what? Now you're... You should always wear a long sleeve shirt too while you're cooking. Write that one down for next time. I can take my own advice. <laughs> yeah, I just get in here and flip it a little bit. Look at that, already burning. <laughs> Not doing very good. That's because we have the damn heat too high. I'll turn it down a little bit. <laughs> That's alright. Oh yeah. That's splattering all over. That gets your stove clean too. You wipe it off later in the wall. We don't own the house, do we? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to turn that down even further. <laughs> it's just too damn much there. There's our Coca-Cola. We got a box here of minute rice. We got plenty of minute rice. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Look at down here. Look at all those boxes of the minute rice. We love minute rice, don't we? go to one of those buffets and you say, uh, well, do you have rice? They say, yes. Say, is it minute rice? They say, no. Probably just go back home. Fix your own. <laughs> no need to spend that kind of money. You don't get your money's worth anyway unless you're about, you know, somebody that has to wear suspenders when you go out. If you don't wear suspenders out of a need rather than a desire, then buffets are probably not a good value. That's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> oh boy, it's boogling up there. Look. A little bit of that margin just will not melt. <laughs> Being very, very stubborn there. But now it's going to go into there. That's all right. Just bring it to a boil. You can remove it from the heat. Always turn off your burner right away. Ooh, look at the grease. <laughs> all right. Now then, we're going to take this rice. And we're going to get back out those measuring cups. And remember how we got that half cup so wet? Well, <laughs> there you go. A nice dry cup. Whoa, it's got a hair in it. We'll just take that hair right out of there. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I've got a cat, as you know, Titan. He's got a lot more hair than his daddy does. And we'll just pour this in there about a cup. Whoa, I overflowed it and went on the plate. That's okay. Just think about the weddings and how they throw all that rice. No big deal. And you pour it in this, right in the skillet. And look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the cup is clean as can be. It's got nothing left in it because there was no water in it. Now we're going to put a little water in just to rinse it out because we're done with it. And we'll put it in our strainer there with our pretzels and our chips. All right. We'll take this left over here and just pour that into. No problem that way. <laughs> oh boy. Take this and just stir it. We're going to flip our steak again. There's no rhyme or reason. We're just trying to get it kind of done inside. Now some people like their steaks medium rare. Medium well. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get when you fix your own. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It just has to do with how long you cook it, how thick it is, the temperature, just all kinds of things that are only sort in your control. <laughs> this isn't the Le Cordon Bleu. This is just cooking with Sal Henning on the YouTube. It's a cooking program. Oh, I just have a labor of love for cooking. Oh, we got big for our britches this time. That was part one. Now we're on to part two. Tune in right away, please.